Hello everybody, I apologize for the quality you're about to see. This video I wanted to show you how to put your EQ telescope into alt azimuth uh, mode. I believe that's the word I'm looking for. Alt azimuth, I, I believe that's the word we're looking for. I might have said that wrong, but uh, basically that's basically taking your EQ telescope like the Celestron Power Seeker 80 EQ that I have here. And what we're going to do is, is we're going to, uh, hopefully you can see the settings here that I have. So if you look down here, you notice that I have it between the 60 and the 30. You're going to want to take, make sure that your, your telescope is aligned to this uh, mode. It, I just find it works easier like this. And if you notice towards the back end where this setting is here there's a butt hopefully they have a mount that's like this where my finger is it'll have like a butt if you notice right there you'll want to take this butt part and rest it on the back of this metal screw that you see here see this metal screw where my finger is you'll want to rest that bottom on this screw like so so I'm going to demonstrate real quick simply tilt your telescope so that that thing is resting on that screw very gently and then what you have here is is you have your telescope to be able to rotate like so right so your telescope rotates and then how you what you would do is is I'm going to go on the other side of my telescope real quick and if you notice down here there's a screw right here where my finger is. Okay, you're going to want to take this screw and loosen it a little bit. And then your telescope is going to freely move. Okay, so you can see now the telescope freely moves up and down. This is how you're going to uh, find planets, is by moving this up and down. So I'm going to let that go real quick and go on the other side real quick. Apologize, this is the dirty room. Um, so kind of knocked my thing off so you can see that you're going to be holding your telescope and you're going to want to find your objects in the sky by using this to lift it up and down like so see how I'm lifting it up and down okay yeah, that's how you'll find your objects is you'll you'll put your hand towards the back and then tilt the telescope up and then what you're going to want to do is, is where you can rotate it by turning the telescope in a different direction okay you'll get used to this after a while um, and once you've locked onto your object you can simply tighten that screw right there this little wing nut right here and it'll lock the tube into position so it won't move up and down as much if you tighten it down now you can use these these things here uh, this thing it'll kinda slowly move your telescope if you notice kinda tilt it up and down a little bit you can play with this if you want uh, personally I use it a little bit um, and then there's another one um, on the other side here you can use once for your once for changing the way that the telescope sits so you can see how it'll turn the telescope a little bit See how it kind of turns it towards me. Hopefully you can see how it's turning it towards me. By using this little knob it'll turn it. Okay, and that's basically all you have to do to put it into alt azimuth uh, mode for your EQ. Simply fold up your telescope and, you know, when you're bringing it inside you just lift it back up. Like so. You, you take the, the bottom part and lift it so that it'll be back at a 60 to 30 at a 60 to 30 degree angle hopefully you can see right there so it's now back between the 60 and the 30 degree angle you the way you'll turn this by the way in case you don't know is you use this screw and this screw will rotate this part this part right here to be at this angle so if you notice I'll try my best to get it to move So that's how you'll get it to, 
to this angle. As you can see, it's moving closer to the 30 now. So you just simply use that, this screw here, to get it between the 16 and the 30. And then once you do that, you just simply rest this butt, this part here, on this screw, right? Just wanna make sure you guys understand what I'm talking about. So simply take your telescope like so and bring it back so that it sits on that screw very gently. See how it sits on that screw? Hopefully you guys can see how it sits on that screw. It doesn't have to be sitting on this little ball. You can turn that if you want. Um, but then all you do is you just simply push your telescope like I have my hand here on the diagonal and if I turn it, I can turn it to where the object is. So if Mars was that way, simply turn the telescope to that way. And if I want to tilt the telescope to make it go up in the air, simply unloosen this, this screw down here where my finger is. It's underneath the telescope where this, this piece is. You don't want to mess with this one. Don't mess with that one. This one right here. Simply loosen this one. And then your telescope will freely move up and down and then you just lock it on when you have the object and then you unloosen that whenever the object is going down so when for example if Jupiter is going down and it's straight up in the air you take your telescope and unloosen that screw and bring the tube down a little bit once you're locked on to, to Jupiter you tighten that screw and then you just sit back and you view and you unloosen it uh, whenever it lowers down a little bit Again, you can use um, again you can use these um, these little knobs here if you want. You can play around with these if you want. But uh, basically, all I use is just is just the settings that I have right now in the video that I showed you. And I kind of need to bring this um, screw up a little bit. So see if I can get this tube up a little bit. It's hard to do with one hand. But anyway, as you can see, that's how you take an EQ and put it into um, alt azimuth uh, mode. Figure I'd do a video to show some of the people on the uh, astronomyforums.net how you put your your EQ mount into alt azimuth mode. And then this is a great way for beginners to use their EQ mounts if you're new to an EQ uh, telescope like I have here. Uh, I found this to be really really hard to use for being a newbie. Uh, but it, it'll it'll get you by until you can take the time to learn um, how to use the EQ correctly. Or you can just continue to use it like this. Hope this video has helped you out.